not, you simply being a man would be so appealing to a man. You just simply being a man was a breath of fresh air to other men. Who would have thought? I've learned a lot over the four decades of health and fitness and being in the trenches with the greatest in the world. And one of those things I've learned a lot more about and how to build better muscle is nutrition and how it has changed over the decades. And that's why I have the Titan meal plan for you guys out there that are confused about nutrition. I'm going to set you straight. Get a hold of me today. The link will be in the comments down below for you guys. Everybody, get over to the Titan Meal Plan, and I'll see you in the Titan Crew, where I will fine-tune any difficulties that you're having. What is that? Where's Kim's Just over. so I understand it, right? Yeah, yeah, but, yeah that's, it's more BS. That's if, you, if you're making your living about talking about other people, I mean, Harvey's done great with TMC, yeah. <laughs> but he's, he's reporting the news, I get it, and I get that concept, but... These, these social media people, like you said, they go to bed at night, and, and this is this is your legacy. Listen, your legacy is being made. Yeah. You you could if you're if you're helping or not helping, it's yeah. getting made. They're gonna talk about you, and, and to talk about them and these kids that are growing up with that negativity. Yeah. And I think that's why some of these kids are really stepping up and, and exploding. Like I think what's the kid's name? Sam. Sam. Sam, Sam, Sam Zola, yeah. He's just talks about himself, what he likes, what he does, and all that kind of stuff. And it's a, it's a nice, fresh approach, because that's an old school mentality. If you notice, we give him the head now, though. So it's us who give that head not to him, because we feel and see ourselves in this young man. And we say, man, that's a breath of fresh air. But who would have thought you simply being a man would be so appealing to a man? You just yeah. simply being a man was a breath of fresh air to other men. Who would have thought? This guy is, I, I, I get, I've created content, Tip of my hat to one day meeting him and saying, hey, brother, I appreciate you, you know? But who would have thought that him literally just living his own life would be a standout? Perhaps, and somewhat related here, but perhaps because we were instilled with the moral calculus, you keep referring to at the end of the day, closing your eyes and at nighttime kind of reckoning with your own self. Maybe if that moral calculus was never put in place, <clears throat> moral calculus was never put in place, you don't have a referral point for what is wrong and what is right. So if you are absent, absent of masculine energy, two, three, four inter, um, generations, at this point in your life, you don't know what a man actually is. So you do certain things without feeling some kind of way about what you did, because you don't know that man shouldn't do that. So he didn't know it was wrong. And I don't want to credit malice to everyone. So to help myself, I started doing this one thing where I say I credit, I'm starting to give more credit to ignorance before I do malice to deal with humans better. So I never want to credit to malice so I can credit to ignorance. Just so I can save men. Because on social network right now, I give up on humans routinely. Then I'm like, well, no. <laughs> I used to word ignorant a lot with people. Because it's, it's not, it's, it's not, it's, it's like a baby on him at one time. I love his heart. It's like, it's true. You're a stir today. He's strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 strong. This is. We're taking pity uh, on him at that point, right? Yeah. As, a, as a mature man does. Yeah, it's like, I feel sorry for you because you're ignorant of the fact. He doesn't know it. Right. You don't know it. It's not saying you're stupid. It's saying you're ignorant. You don't, you have not yet received this knowledge in your life. Uh huh. And hopefully you're open to understanding understanding that there are people here willing to provide that experience to you before safety. Yes. Yeah. So lack of is the lack of the lack of critical thinking skills. The fact that you can't really navigate through all of this social media that it has to offer good, bad and the other and not understand, yeah, this is this is not how you go about things and this is how you go about it. even the types of your masculinity. The fact that you have grown men building their whole platforms on other grown men and you can't look at that and say, yeah, that's a little odd to me. Mm -hmm. You sleep with a woman and look at yourself in a mirror and that's what you let want your legacy mm -hmm. to be. There's no way my wife would be, I mean, my wife would be it's like, it's a grown man that's talking about another grown man. But again, we live in a different world. And it's sad, as you said, what are these kids going to become as they get older and as they mature? <laughs> You're building a bunch of little haters, a little <laughs> soft, you know, and then they're going to build their platforms. And I'm hoping that this right here will engage them to understand your masculinity is important, not only inside the gym, but outside the gym and how you conduct yourself as a man. It's very you important. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? We, we live in a world where these young Gen Z, unfortunately, they, they have it's a culture of depression. 
you know, all they want to talk about is their feelings and, and being depressed instead of getting up and going to work. But then, like I said, you have these content creators that feed into it because they realize, yeah, this is money. I can get all these young kids to follow right. me as a market network instead of instead of preaching positivity. Yeah, yeah. You might not like Mike or you might not like Ron, but you must respect them as men. You cannot discredit the work, and that is the problem. With uh, I feel like uh, they discredit all of the hard work that we do as men, and they just look past it just because a content creator that has no credibility and done nothing, nothing. It's that time again to get my blood work done to see where my numbers are. Again, the one big thing for me is I'm keeping track of it. It's so precise. You know, I competed in bodybuilding and powerlifting and martial arts, but that was all over decades ago. And so how can I continue to keep this physique and be this strong at this stage? And so that is by optimizing my health with Titan Medical. It all stems from one thing, your blood work, what's going on inside of you. And that's the main thing that I'm focused about is see how I can continue to not just be in the game. I don't wanna be that guy. I don't wanna be a weekend warrior. I don't wanna say you got a dad bod. I wanna be the pinnacle of the health and fitness industry decades after I competed. And I've always said this too, you got so many of these guys that were with me in the 80s and 90s and they keep putting the pictures up from the 80s and 90s. I don't wanna be that guy. I like the fact that I can still put up pictures of me today, even though I won the universe back in the 90s. That's the goal for me. I don't know what your goal is, but I can tell you this, I know you wanna live and I know you wanna live your best life. And that starts with blood work. Over at Titan Medical, start today. To me, they're all riding coattails. It's all about the money, it's all about the algorithm, and it, you know, you have these insta coaches out there that are telling these guys that, hey listen, Find your niche and stay with it. So they do a video and they critique Mike or wherever it is. They get a whole bunch of views. And they're like, oh, well, this worked. Let me just keep doing this. And they don't, I, I guess they don't realize because they're just blinded by the fact that, oh, this time I'm getting paid, I'm getting views. And like, that's currency to them. Mm -hmm. And at that point, like, they're like, oh, I'll just continue on this. I'll be super successful. I'll just keep riding it. I mean, every time, viral videos, big hooks are like, you know, hey, listen, we caught Michael Hearn doing this or yeah. we've seen this. You know, it's just like, come on, man. Like, Listen, build your platform, do you, and I guarantee, I mean, just like you're sitting here, the other guys were sitting here yesterday, if you're genuine about what you're about, no matter what it is, it can be comic books, power it can be bodybuilding, it can be movies, you will get that audience. But I don't think, the, like you guys said, throwing people underneath the bus all the time, it's just, it's just not a good thing for the podcast. And that's not how man is. Man sits his own two, walks the line, does him, and you know what? And he falls down and kicks himself in the ass and gets back up. Instead of, oh man, like, they did this to me, or I lost him. The judge did this. Shut up. Get up, do the work, go to town, and then shine out. You know, that's what it's all about. Speaking of the work, Mike asked a question a while ago. What can a young man do? How can he cipher through all of this stuff? And you're a wealth of knowledge with respect to where do they start? So real quick story, when I was 14, I had a bicep that was peaked up like this. Yeah. It was this big black man by the name of Henry McGee that worked at the YMCA. Okay. All my friends made fun of him. They said, Clark, you're deformed. You're, they said words that we don't say anymore. Yeah. Right? And, and Henry McGee came and he said, no, no, son, you're a champion bodybuilder. At 14, I'm getting chills right now. Yeah. You're a champion bodybuilder someday. And I reached out to him years ago when the internet came back and I said, hey, I'm Clark Meyer. I know who you are and yeah, you follow yeah, yeah, your yeah. career. So anyway, that man's words set me on a path. Changed your trajectory. Changed it. It was just something that simple. So what can we now turn this conversation to, to the young guy that's watching? Because all of us have a young demographic because they look up to us as older guys that are fit. Yeah. Like how can we get them on a path that will lead them at 60 years old still doing the same damn thing? You know what I mean? I'm just, I, I personally believe that I do walk in the right of what I'm referred to now on this totem pole of maturity. They refer to me as, they might say, big bro. Um, like we said sometimes, uh, what up, um? You know what I mean? They might say something like, what up, OG? It refers to a status symbol on that totem pole. So it's, impo it's, it's, it's important that I understand where I'm at. So now I understand the gravity of my words, much like that brother did with you. The gravity of his, the gravity of his words changed your full trajectory. You were about to feel down and out on yourself because what you thought was a deformity. And you were going to make some decisions, perhaps in response to that pressure other kids were giving you. But his trajectory told you and gave you identity, which we're all looking for. We're all trying to find identity, a belonging, a group, a pack. We all want those. 
So with that being said, understanding the power of our words and our platform and utilizing that for positive. So the young girl who um, isn't the star shooter, there's only one of those. The, the, the football player who's not the star quarterback, there's only one of those. But you can still be a star in your own right. So understand this, you may not be the head cheerleader, but you can still be a winner. Apply yourself, be accountable, and push yourself. You're going to win on a routine basis because you are committing to yourself. You're succeeding. If it's a young man, same concept. Bro, you're not gonna make the team and be the varsity um, point guard, but you can still be a winner. Health and wellness, we all have a story on what we did within health and wellness that helped us and they give us identity. So we just finished one movie. Um, it's been turned out great. I am loving it. I love the dailies that we see. On to the next project. If you finish, you keep going, you keep trying to go. That's, I guess, a, a better way to say it. And this next movie that I have booked, this is gonna take all of me. This is gonna take uh, um, Slice to the Bone, um, all the character development, but also I need to be able to move and grow and keep that strength uh, through this process. You'll understand why that is after you see the movie, but keeping the strength is key when you're dieting. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that on Power Bodybuilding. You guys have a great day and I'll see you over there. How do you do that in a world that wants it today? So I, I, again, I'm old school. And so I was, I was up for the journey um, from day one. I was like, no. I'll outlast everybody. You're that still was on that same journey. I'm still, still here, a <laughs> hundred years later. But, <laughs> but how do you tell them? Because they see these other kids doing the tricks, doing the analytics and get talking smack and getting that thing. How do you or tell do some drugs? drugs to get there quicker with yeah, their physique? So how do you tell these kids that, that, that a slow, solid race, the tortoise and the hare, is outweighs the fast overnight success? Put them in the real world. If you are in the internet world, internet world's not real. It's not real. We are one percentile. We don't exist in the real world. So if you can get this child back into the real world that can see their place on this pecking order, they'll see themselves amongst their real people. So now you have a better grasp. It's not normal to carry a Louis Vuitton purse at 21 years old, man. <laughs> but if you keep thinking it is because live on the internet and you're watching my life through the window that I've shown you my life, you think this is my life through and through. And it's not. Young man, you don't have to drop a BMW M3 in college. That's not reality. But if you live your life, through social media, you think it is. And you're off to the internet, and let's see the real world. Which means it has to be some kind of a, a play about how do you in the real world, more than the internet, to have a better grasp, what we used to call back in the day, 10 toes down, grounded in reality. And then now you don't have this false expectation of a bar set to Sam Selleck's physique. That ain't gonna happen, bro. <laughs> look, at your, look, at your, look at your classmate in math. This is what's reality. Yes. Now you start feeling better about yourself. Cause you know what? Okay, cool. I'm not the greatest, but I'm all right. I'm at least normal. Yeah. I can push for a little extra though. But quit watching the internet. We're not real, to be real, guys. We literally don't exist in the real world. <laughs> we literally unicorns. Did you know men over six two are two point less than two point nine percent of the population? But let the internet tell you. Oh, we must find a man over six too. <laughs> <laughs> With making over a hundred thousand dollars. You've even condensed what you want even to a smaller pool. And I agree with you, Ron, especially uh, about the internet. The pessimistic part of me wants to tell the guys to get off the internet and just stay off of it, right? But I understand that maybe you're not realistic. But if you want to follow someone, I would encourage them to follow with some, follow someone who is mature and doesn't lead with negativity. And it's been doing it for a significant amount of time. And like you said, uh, when you're talking about building a foundation, and then you see some of these guys, when they come off all of the subs, they kind of shrivel up. Well, I'm going to follow the guy that's probably been the most consistent in the, in the industry, because I know that he's done it year in and year out. Not someone who just popped up and, uh, and encouraging the kids to jump on gear as soon as possible. I'm really big on maximizing uh, your natural potential before you make that decision. No one ever says that. Because when you make that decision, you have to have a solid foundation. And then in that case, you're not relying on the drugs to push you where you need to be. It's just an added little bit to make you the best version of yourself. But again, following 
and using common sense, those who have been in the game for a long time and do not preach so much negativity. I'm not worried about another man and what he's doing. I'm worried about what I'm doing. Now, what I'm doing may not apply to you, but I'm not, I imagine I do have some value that can help you and aid you along the way to success when it comes to your physique. But again, critical thinking skills, and they lack that in my opinion, so it's hard. The one thing that will apply is what we had talked about prior to the cameras turning on was consistency. 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 Right? So if we take it back to the foundational elements of what a young kid could do to really end up at whatever level he could end up at, it's consistency. That's it. 